I've been hosting concerts at Little Tree. We're finishing 12 years now, and we're getting ready to do the last one of the 2020 season, which is Mitch Barrett. And it's sending me through all these happy memories of the series, because Mitch was the very first performer that we had. And I just want to share with people. Uh, this has been quite a year. I think we did 12 concerts or some crazy thing like that. Um, we came into the year with a lot of enthusiasm because December last year, Moores and McCumber were in the house. There was like 70 people here. And that night I was doing the accounting and we had gone over $100,000 for musicians in 11 years. And it wasn't really ever anything that I was thinking about. So I wanted to tell people about the happy accident of this concert series and invite you to come out on the 12th, this Saturday, December 12th and celebrate with us 12 years of concerts um, with our very first performer, Mitch Barrett. So the way that first concert happened was, um, it really started with the first Mitch Barrett song I heard, which was at Lou Robinson's wedding here in Colorado. Uh, my brother flew out, Carl, and he sang at the wedding, Sacred Yard, which is a beautiful Mitch Barrett song, and I'm gonna sing that for you by the time I'm done today. And um, I was so taken with that song that I bought the CD that that song was on. It's a little storytelling CD Mitch wrote called I Ain't Lying, I'm Telling You a Story. And it's like half storytelling and half songs. And I just laughed so hard listening to that in my house alone while I was making dinner one evening that I went on a CD baby, I bought all of Mitch Barrett's CDs and just fell in love with the guy. I had him on my player for five solid months, nothing but Mitch Perry. <laughs> and um, six, six months later, five, six months later, uh, I met him. Uh, my brother was doing a gig with him in Virginia, so I flew out. And I was like the starry-eyed groupie, you know, uh, came with a list. Would you mind just playing these few songs? I love these songs. I handed him a set list. <laughs> and... Um, so that was a lovely uh, meeting after I had already met him in my house for five months. So fast forward six months after that, I get a call. You know, he's in Kentucky and I'm here in Colorado. So we're not staying in touch or anything like that. Just a starry eyed fan I was. And um, he asked me, Joe, can you help me find a house so I can pay for this rental car? I'm a finalist at Telluride and I'm looking for a place. And um I ended up finding my place, called around. I was sure my house was never going to work. But uh, 12 years later, obviously it worked. And the backyard is a beautiful setting. And in the house, it just kind of works. Move all the furniture out and pull people in. And I had no idea when I said yes to that, how much that decision was going to change my life. Um, one of those just gifts that keeps on giving. And initially it was just a favor for a friend, a new friend. It was never going to be a series. And I even said that when his agent called and asked for the name of the series. So I'm doing a favor. I'm not doing a series. But the very next day I called my brother and I said, I'm so glad she asked that question. I know I'm the perfect person to host a house concert series. I don't know what a house concert is, but I've been listening to you pour out awesome in the corner of a bar or a restaurant and I can create a listening space. You know, those places I can't hear you, but I know I can create that and I'm going to do it. So one of those crazy moments where, you know, you know, you know it's the right thing, but you don't know exactly what it is. And now all these years later, I have a huge circle of friends. We just did a benefit concert for, uh, a project I'm working on. I'm the chief scientist for Unite the Parks. And oh my God, all my friends showed up and I've listened to that concert several times and skipped around with all these people coming in. Just love coming back to me. Um, you know, love, love is a gift you give without the expectation of anything coming back. If you expect something to come back, you're making a business deal. That's not love. So when it comes back, it's... Uh, just feel so full right now and so I want to um, 
I hope you come out and celebrate the beginning of the series. So it it was the beginning of lots of things for me, and one 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 of the things it was is uh, playing the guitar and singing. I never sang, and this was the very first song that I learned was Sacred Yard, the first Mitch Barrett song that I heard, and um, it's about accepting other people's beliefs, um, not tolerating other religions, but accepting them and bringing them in. And uh, if you want to hear the story behind it, come to Mish Barrett's show or buy his little storytelling CD. I ain't lying, I'm telling you a story because it's on there and it's a great story. You know. So, Mish Barrett's Sacred Yard. Outside in my front yard, I got a plastic rooster and a Noah's Ark. Camel bells from a foreign land, crystal ball on a terracotta stand. Jesus crosses hanging in the trees, Tibetan prayer flags blowing in the breeze. Rub my lucky yard gnome as you walk past, my concrete Buddha laughing in the grass. Wipe your feet before you step from your car You're on hollowed ground, you're in my sacred yard Holy water in the bird bath to wash your sins Now you are forgiven Come on in I got a silver star of David and a stained glass moon Sentimental objects hanging in my room Everything is sacred, every breath of air. Be careful what you're thinking, every thought's a prayer. It's the ordinary people you talk to every day, incantations and prophecies from the mouths of babes. You can talk about the weather or the food you crave. It's the feelings you project, not the words you say. Wipe your feet before you step from your car You're on hollowed ground, you're in my sacred yard Holy water in the bird bath to wash your sins Now you're forgiven Come on in Now if you're searching for happiness Try not to look so hard Take you a long chair Go out in the yard and stare straight up at the sky so blue. Yeah, God's in heaven, but heaven's in you. Wipe your feet before you step from your car. You're on hollowed ground, you're in my sacred yard. Holy water in the bird bath to wash your sins. Now you're forgiven, and I'm forgiven. Well, we're all forgiven. Come on in, come on in. How did Saint Pete wipe your feet? <laughs> I promise you, if you come December 12th, you won't hear amateur singing and playing like that. You'll hear the real deal. Mitch is a consummate pro. So looking forward to celebrating Little Tree. Come out and do that with us and celebrate Mitch Barrett. December 12th, see you this Saturday. Let your friends know. <laughs>